In this time, I will show you how to use frame generation Cyberpunk 2077 2.0 in RTX 3060 Ti using DLSS 3 frame generation mod by the developer Nukem9. This is not official DLSS 3 frame generation. It's a mod that injects the technology, allowing our RTX 20 and 30 series cards to finally use it. The overall gameplay experience is actually quite decent and the performance boost is undeniable. However, I need to be honest about the graphical artifacts I noticed. Minor shadow glitching and third-person head flickering when moving the mouse quickly. On the positive side, unlike other frame generation mods, I did not notice any significant HUD flickering or crosshair issues which is a huge thing for many gamers and gameplay smoothness is feels better with my experience. So I decided to make a tutorial about how to use this method on Cyberpunk 2077 2.0 version. I know this is a much older version but we can also use this method in the older version. So in this video I will be showing you how to use the DLSS frame generation mod, how to double your frame rate and how to fix those shadow glitching effects so follow my exact instructions to correctly install it into your game. First up, we need to gather 4 essential files. I've included direct links to all of these in the pinned comment below for your convenience. DLSS to FSR Universal DLL. This is the core file that allows our unsupported GPU to utilize the frame generation feature. You can find this on the Nexus Mods website. DLSS Tweaker, also available on Nexus Mods. This tool helps us prepare the system for the modification. Frame Generation Ghosting Fixer. This crucial file helps minimize visual artifacts like ghosting that can sometimes appear with frame generation mods. Now, let's begin the installation. Locate the DLSS to fsr.zip file you downloaded. Use a compression tool like 7-zip or WinRAR to open the archive. I'll be using 7-zip here. Inside the archive, navigate to the necessary files. Extract these files directly into your Cyberpunk 2077 installation folder. This is the directory where the main executable file Cyberpunk 2077.exe is located. Ensure the files are placed right next to the game's executable. Next, we'll use the DLSS tweaker to bypass NVIDIA's signature check, which is necessary to enable frame generation on RTX 30 series cards. Go into the DLSS tweaker folder. Find the registry file named Enable NVIDIA Signature Override.reg. Copy this registry file into the same Cyberpunk 27 installation folder where you placed the DLL files in the previous step. Double click the .reg file to execute it. When prompted by Windows, accept the settings to merge the changes with your system registry just as you see me doing here. Next, we need to copy the ghosting fix mod file into the Cyberpunk 27.7 game folder. Locate your ghosting fix mod file folder. Copy the mod file and paste them into the exact location I am showing now. Archive, then PC and mod. Now paste the mod files here. With the latest NVIDIA driver update, you can use a DLSS 4 on your RTX 20 or 30 series card. It's called DLSS Override. With this technique, you can achieve better image quality and better game performance. Let's see how to apply this setting. Open the NVIDIA app and select the Cyberpunk 2077 game profile. Navigate to the Global Settings or Program Settings section for the game. Find the DLSS Override settings. Change the Ray Reconstruction setting to Latest and change the Super Resolution preset J. And find the DLSS Super Resolution and Set Quality mod. Apply and close the NVIDIA app. That's the entire process. Now, launch Cyberpunk once you are in the gameplay mode, open the settings menu. You should now be able to see and enable the DLSS frame generation option. Now turn on the DLSS frame generation and make sure to change DLSS upscaling to quality or balanced mode. This is also helped to minimize ghosting artifacts, the native TAA. As you can see, our FPS has boosted around 150 closer. You can now enjoy a much higher frame rate with better latency. And thanks to the ghosting fix file, you won't notice any distracting shadow or driving ghosting issues. 
This method is a game changer for owners of RTX 20 series and RTX 30 series GPUs, allowing you to unlock performance previously reserved for RTX 40 series cards. What do you think of this frame generation mod? Do you like it? Please leave a comment down below with your results. If you found this video helpful, make sure to thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech tips and tutorials. Until next time, happy gaming.